What's up guys, Creeper Kid here, and today we are back with another tutorial. Today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys um, how to uh, uh, install the Elgato uh, Game Capture HD, uh, not the 60, just the H, well, well not install, but whatever, uh, Elgato Game Capture um, uh, software, and uh, just a little tips on how to use it so um anyway so what you guys are going to want to do is go on your computer and type in elgato uh software download so once you do that you're going to want to go to game capture hd support elgato.com don't go anywhere else uh because it could end up getting you uh Hacked. So, when you come here, you're going to go download game capture 3.2. Um, once you download that, uh, don't worry, no viruses, obviously, because millions and trillions of people use it. Um, then once you download that, uh, it should go, it should look like this. It'll also ask you if you want to download the sound capture. Um, I would, but I don't really use it. This is, I think, for PC recording. Or to import uh, audio, like uh, like from uh, Skype or stuff like that. But whatever. Um, this is it. Uh, once you double click and open that up, I have my Xbox hooked up to this, my 360. I am in a chat with my friend. Um, this was another game I recorded. Um, right here, it says 6.9 gigabytes. My friend Sharp Dreams is right there. Uh, you guys can't hear him, but whatever. Um, anyway, so, what, this is it, basically. So, if you have your microphone hooked up, this is my microphone that I always keep hooked up to this at all times. Uh, this is all the same microphone I'm recording with currently. Um, so I just want to show you guys. This is what I hate about it, is even when you're not recording, it's taking up gigabytes. But let me show you. Actually, I'm going to delete this first. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, that was a game I recorded like two days ago. Let's go to my videos. Uh, delete these. Oh, no, not that. that. That's what I'm recording right now. Um, anyway, so if I go back here after I deleted everything, I have 12.9 gigabytes. Um, what's really cool is that this bar right here, you can go back in time. I can go back all the way to the beginning. Oh, well, it obviously it's going to be the same as this, but let me show you. If I go all the way to present, I go down, down, down. I back out, well, not back out of the chat, but back out of the chat screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, sorry about those messages. I go around like that. Let's just say I did this. Um, I can go back in time. Let's say I hit a cool shot. And, um, let's say I hit a cool shot, you can pause and play back. And look, it's doing exactly what I did. Um, I'm not doing it right now, but this is showing exactly what I did, uh, when I did it. So if I hit a cool shot, but I wasn't recording, um, if I hit a cool shot and I wasn't recording, you go back in time, record that for a clip. Uh, always have commentary clicked. Here, let me mute my game, my computer monitor. Um, Hold on. Yeah. And I'm going to hit this. And you can this, see my mic. And you can see my mic. Echoing. So it's probably echoing. So. Echo so, echo so. Anyway, that was what it was. Um, When you record a video, it'll go into your videos. You can edit and cut it up. Let me show you guys. If I recorded, 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 and stopped recording, go back in my editing software. This is it. Um, You can cut it up. Play. It's playing it back, and you are able to cut it up into different parts. Uh, say I didn't want the beginning. Cut up the beginning part, and then just play the whole thing. Whatever. Um, and then you just want to hit download. You can share it through this. I don't because I take it over to my uh, editing software. Um, that was Movie Maker. I don't use any currently. Um, I current or. Er, Currently, I'll have one. Hopefully, soon I will get the uh, Sony Vegas, but that'll be later. Uh, whatever. 
Um, that's it. Once you always want to know where it's going to, mine is always going to. There it is, right there. The one I recorded. Just open that up. There it is. Just play there. Then you could upload that to YouTube or wherever you're uploading uh, your clips. Then this is. Uh, your screen will black out, by the way, every time you go into the Elgato and out of it. Um, now, just how to hook it up specifically. When you get your Elgato, it will have two, no, three or four cords. I use HDMI, so what I do is I take one HDMI from my Xbox, I put it into the in on the Elgato. Then I take another HDMI from the Elgato going out into my TV or my monitor, my monitor, if you guys are using it be your TV that you're playing on. Um, if that you're playing on, um, and then what you're gonna want to do is have the USB that came with it plugged into the Elgato and going into your computer or laptop. Um, and what you're gonna want to do actually real quick when you go into the Elgato, let me show you guys. I forgot to show you this. Um, over here in your options is the Elgato Game Capture HD. It doesn't come like that. Um. Let me show you. Input device, Xbox 360. You can use Xbox One, 360, PS4, PS3. It will come up uh, with uh, uh, how to hook up the PS3 and iPad. Um, but you have to get a certain kind of adapter for that. iPhone, iPod Touch, Wii U, or other. Um, yeah. Uh, I always keep my quality up at 1080p. Best quality. Color range is standard. That's just how you always want to keep it. Um... But yeah, what you always want to do is choose, you have to choose what kind of capture you have. Uh, how do I change it? No, I forgot. No, it should automatically pick up what the capture is, uh, depending on what's plugged in. This is mine. Um, but yeah, that's just a little how-to on that. If you guys want more how-tos in the future, like, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, this is Creeper Kids signing out. Peace.